this is the uh, well, my first day on the extension at Crowborough. Um, I'll put a picture on now. I put the lads there yesterday bumping everything out. We've got everything covered up brick jackets. So yeah, we're gonna go there today, get everything set out, start putting the holes into the existing building, into the house ready to take the beams for the block and beam. Gonna get wall starters up, gonna set out, I'm gonna start getting all the substructure, um, footing blocks and engineering bricks around. So yeah, catch you when I get to the job. We are at Crowbra on the new job, new extension. I'm going to flip the old camera around. So the lads came here yesterday, bumped out, uh, bumped out all the bricks and blocks. Got some engineering bricks. We've got two cores of engineering brick internally. Um, then we're going to roll the damp out, and then we've got block and beam flooring going in. So we're going to punch holes in this existing build for beams. Beams are going to come across and sit. On here I'll just take you up here and then you can see this is where we're gonna be in here nice extension 12 just over 12 meters across three meters off the building block and beam floor to go in so yeah let's get it on so just for the purpose of the video setting out purposes what I've done there is a string line but my normal line and pins and I've pinned in the brickwork along the house so I've come out along the footing and you basically hold the string line nice and tight and you come in just until you're touching that brickwork there like that and level down now that is that line there that is my external face work and then I've allowed 102 mil for the brick I've got 135 mil cavity so these are what these marks here it's a little bit wet but you can see external that little mark at the end of the pencil that's the inside of my face work we've got 135 mil cavity which is from there to there and then 100 mil inner skin so uh this here if i stand up you'll be able to see it a bit better external brickwork internal block work and that's how i've set up the corner there i'm just going to put the set square on it just to double check and then we'll build a little corner up here and then we'll put a string line down measure off the building coming out the same measurement to make sure everything's nice and square right so internal skin is up to underside of beam ready for the beam floor. So lovely. Beautiful. Jared's pumping in the holes. This is going to be where the ends of the beams are going to sit in. And then the beam's going to come across. It'll be a damp course on here. And then the end of the beams will sit on here. So yeah, so I've got a few more holes to do on here. After lunch, I'm going to start. I'm going to bring one course of block all the way around on the outside. And uh, yeah, and start down in here in these lower footings on the external. Start laying some blocks. All right, that's us. We've got a course of block around on the outside as well. It steps down here, but so does the ground level. So this is going to have to be face brickwork now on top of there and around that corner. Step down again, just with engineering brick, just one course, and then external block work down there. The internal brickwork is at underside of beam now. So yeah, all good. And uh, start getting the holes punched, punched through. So that's where we're at. Nice day. It's nice to be on an extension. I must say, repointing's taking it out of me. Beautiful. Good morning. We are back on the extension job. Lock and beam time. Yeah, bit sweaty. We just bought 12. 
12 beams round. And they're in. We just run one row of blocks. Set it out parallel to the, ex, uh, the inside of the cavity on the internal block work. So it's parallel. And then we're just setting the beams out now to run a full block in them. Yeah, jobs are good one. We'll catch you in a little bit. Right, so we've loaded out the thermalite blocks for this end. There's a briquette been laid on top of these engineering bricks and then run a line of bed and then drop the end blocks in. Blue lines are for the vents, for the air vents, equally spaced from here to the end. So there's going to be four vents through there. Blocks that are stood up is where the vents are, there's going to be one beyond that. And then on the other ones, block it, block it, block it. Basically just filling in and then the underside of this block. There's no void then basically. It's all filled in. So yeah, we're getting there. Massive progress. Vertical damps in. Just need the SDS to do the first thing. Okay. Okay. Hope you've all had a good one. A good weekend. Long one, wasn't it? Three days, but yeah, it's all good. We're back on the ranch now. Basically, we've rolled out 18 inch stamp on the beam. That's going to get lapped up on the inside um, before the insulation screed. Just racking up a corner now. I pulled a string line through again, flush with the brickwork, just through to a rope pin, because then I can measure across from my block work across to the line just to make sure that my block work's running true for this end elevation. See, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on and I'll catch you in a little bit. That midday, finding about half on the block work. There's 150 cut on top of here and here to lint white. And solid wall. Got a set of doors going in here. Um, and then the other end, got a window in the M wall, window in the return, and we've got the reveal here for this set of doors. Yeah, we're going up 2.4 from that height there, going up 2.4 to put that underside of the plate, the top of that work. And yeah, that's a window opening in here. Yeah, so far, so good. Put a couple of pictures on and uh, yeah, making progress. Yesterday, block work round. Just racked up this here because block and beam weren't finished. I've just done it to use the muck up. But block and beam, that's the last beam. Just got the cut blocks on the end to do. Blockettes to lay, and then we can think about getting fur fixes up here and uh, get this block work all wrapped up and then start on the face work up that end. So, yeah, jobs are good. Catch you in a little bit. Right, so that's that block work in this corner all fired in. We've got two more on there, two on there, two on there. That takes us up. Um, there's a 150 bit on there to lintel. So yeah, literally a day and a couple of hours this morning. Finished the block and beam this morning. Um, rolled out 18 inch damp, put a course through, then four inch damp. Um, yeah, all sweet. We're getting there. Right. Profiles up. Good old Rhino build profile and clamp. 
Rhino Bill spot board stands. You know the one. Anyway, all the block work is up. There's a 150 cut um, on top of all these for little bearing. But that's as high as we can reach at the minute. So we're going to come around and start getting the brickwork up to damp. We've got three courses and we're at damp. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start firing that in all the way around. Beautiful. One of these bricks. <laughs> absolutely stunning. Especially with a chariot joint. This job's going to look them nuts. Good morning. We are back. And uh, yeah, basically yesterday I ran the brickwork rounder here. Free course all the way round. And uh, this morning, just firing in this brickwork. And round the corner. Things just on the chariot. But yeah, get in. So this is what we've done a day. Got this up, that's up to damp. Air brick, the rare brick. This bit for the way they did yesterday. This is the day's effort. And it's just on the chariot. And around that side. Yeah. It's about 650 grips, I think. Get some more insulation in tomorrow and uh, hopefully get this up. So much for block work. Jobs are good. Morning. We are back. What we're going to do first thing is we're going to backfill in down the bottom here just so then we can reach up a bit higher, get all the ground level all back in nice. And, uh, yeah, we had to carry on. But that's where we're at so far. Hopefully by end of play today we're up near the top of the block work. So that'll be a good day done. Alright, so I've lacked a little bit on the old camera today and I've been slapping them in but I remember this morning we was I don't know down here somewhere. So I said by the end of the play I wanted to get up near the top of the block work, but that's as high as I can reach. So that's where we got. It's lovely. Happy with that. Anyway, only joking. Managed to slap this in as well. So yeah, managed to go and take the horses up, set out for the window. There's a half head of brick on that. Around the corner. Again, set out for the window, and it's having this detail. Basically, yeah, a head of brick underneath window sill. Yeah, not bad. Back on the extension at Crowborough. Just set profile and lines up, and I'm going to run this pier up, the corner up, and then there's a pier over by that downpipe to come up around the corner. Get that up to height, but just like this. And then uh, lintels are meant to be coming today. Hopefully, have some bandstands and boards tomorrow. And yeah, we can crack on. So, yeah, we're going to enjoy the sunshine, blue skies, and see where we get. So, we're basically up now, as far as I can reach. The ground level falls away here. So, we're up. But yeah, that's where we're at with the brickwork. Need some bandstands in here now. I hope we can't supply the bandstands tomorrow. We went down to supply any of the scaffold. Yeah, brickwork looks lovely. Lovely brick. Yeah, one course of block on there and then that's lintel height. Yeah, jobs are good. And oh, good morning. We are back. So this morning, um, the lads have set me up with boards and bandstands through here, which were kindly dropped off by the other builder, which is the client I'm doing the job for. I went inside with me hop up. I just put one course of block 
through on top of there that's all lasered at the reveals so yeah perfect ready for lintel so that's lintel heights now so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to put this profile on here there's profile on that door reveal there i'm just going to run that pier and this corner here and because uh, of the bandstand i'm just going to rack this up back up there for now get that in that means that lintel can go on to do the same the other end that lintel can go on the door lintel can go on and then I'll think about some soldiers going over the lintel and the last course of block on the inside all right so that's uh, yeah racked up from that corner middle piers up to height lintels on absolutely bang on Yeah, so far so good. Gonna put another free course on here, just racked up, just in line with the reveal. Um, same there, and then that means I can get soldier on there. Um, and then we're thinking about taking this scaffold down, transferring it to that end, doing the same over that window, and the uh, same over the door. So yeah, we'll just see how we go. build doing what it does best again gauge profile through here now we're going to go for the soldiers oh yes look at them beautiful just holding the rhino build profile gauge profile you'll find it on the website at rhinobuild.com you can pick up these like profiles for the to hold the main profile which has got the gauge marks but yeah massive edge when it comes to putting soldiers on Brick that is a nice nightmare meant to be spring mm. Righto, good morning. You join me up on the little scaffolding this morning. Just going to take this up to lintel height, just wrap that up, and then I'm going to build this middle pier up. We'll get lintel on here, and then get the lintel on over this door, and then we'll think about getting that coarser block over the lintel at the back. And then soldiers on here, soldiers on there, and then we've got that opening to do round the side. So what we will end up doing, just transferring the bandstands and boards around here, just so we can build that pier up over there, return this corner. Yeah, and just random, but yeah, nice, nice clean cavities. So yeah, all good. Got the profile just to take off the top of there. The uh, muck's still green enough. We'll be able to take that profile off there. It's just holding the top of the soldiers so they didn't roll off the lintel. Um, but that'll all be gone off now and it's just a case of jointing just behind the, behind the profile. It'll still be green enough just to chariot the top of that out. So yeah, all good. So far, so good. We're going to crack on. Like I said, get this pier up. This pier up. Lintel on here. Lintel on there, coarser block work through the back, soldiers on the front, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in a little while. So, as I said, this pier got it up, rack this back just down here. There we got soldiers on. So, now it's the middle lintel to get on here now. We just need to transfer these bandstands along, and then yeah, and then it's lintel on here uh, run into the lintel run into the lintel and then soldiers over that finish off the block work that from here to there over the lintel but bloody rain again it's not ideal so we've just covered everything up and just gonna have to uh, see what happens All right, rain stops play that's home time now 
but yeah managed to get that lintel on that lintel on tray on tray on soldier on block work course behind uh, finished just jointing these from yesterday but yeah jobs are good and enjoy your weekend everyone job rafters are all on so we're gonna get this block work on this gable cut up in and then the brickwork hoping to get this end done so yeah watch this space fingers crossed we get it all done today right that's that one done yeah, lovely. Jobs are good. Right, we're going to move this tower scaffold, uh, tower scaffold, these bandstands and boards. Get ourselves set up the other end. One more end. Internal block works up. And it's just brick work now, the one from here to there. So, uh, that'll be tomorrow morning now. But get that wrapped up, and then that's another job done. Yeah, lovely. So we're back this morning. I've got one cut book to put in there, and then it's this brickwork on this end, gable end cut up. So yeah, and then that, it's this job all wrapped up nicely. So they've already told me they're well pleased with the way it's all gone. Lads have been putting here, putting the roof on. It's nothing to do with us. It's the, uh, the company I'm doing the work for. But yeah, fire. Another extension. Almost all wrapped up and complete. Just this gable then cut up to do. And I'll put a video on after. When it's all complete, you can see it all in all its glory. So I'll catch you in a little bit. And that, that's a wrap. Gable end done. That is job complete lovely chariot finish I love these bricks absolutely lovely yeah all nice all nice and cutting jobs are good and catch on the next one guys and just remember like subscribe hit that little alarm bell button you see it and yeah just give us a follow we're on Instagram as well uh, PH Paving Brickwork get in touch numbers on now in the uh, West Kent area, Tunbridge Wells and surrounding areas, PH Paving and Brickwork at AOL.com with all your inquiries. 077 146 is the number. Come straight through to me. If you've got any extensions wanting to look at, get in touch.